Hello, hello. Hi, good, good evening. Good evening, my dear students. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here with you. Very happy to see you. Okay, okay. Welcome to your class. Many of you are connecting, so I am going to give them a couple of seconds for them to connect, and we will start. How was your day, my dear students? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Ah, the microphone, Edgar, you are sharing the secret of happiness. But your microphone is off. Tu micrófono está apagado. <laughs> so... <laughs> okay, the lucky numbers of the lottery. I didn't notice that. that my... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. An anotaron los números de la lotería que le dio Edgar, vea. <laughs> <laughs> It was off your microphone. Yeah, yeah. I was talking and talking and nobody heard me. Yeah, well, well. Um, how was your day, Edgar? Now you can tell us. Uh, my day was fine. It was a little busy, but I'm okay. You are okay. You are here. The most yours? important. It was nice. Um, my days are, are very, very busy. But I, I, am, I feel glad when I have this time at night to sit and talk and teach and, and actually do what I love doing, right? That is teaching. Because we do a lot of administrative job during the day and it's like gosh, a lot of papers and things. It is not the same to be okay. teaching. Sounds so, great. Thank you very much. Well, my dear class, Thank you very much for all the audios that I received. I had a lot of fun listening to your stories. <laughs> you, you were really naughty when you were kids, right? Ustedes eran traviesos de chiquitos, some of you. <laughs> and some others were like, I mean, very nice stories about your childhood, right? That's the pronunciation, childhood. Okay, a funny story about my childhood, you say, and that's what you share. Thank you very, very much for all the ones who sent the audio before the class and for some of, of you who have sent it right now. Uh, it was a very good job, the one that you did. How did you feel? ¿Cómo se sintieron con la actividad? Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> I could listen to it on the audio, right? Me sentí como que, como que es la primera cita cuando invitan a, a, a alguien a salir. Así como, eh, 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 my, my name is this and this. <laughs> you, were very, you were very nervous there, but no, yeah. you will see. The, the idea of this activity is for you to break the ice of being afraid to speak and to be listened because that's the, that's the worst part. In English, for example, you say, no, they are going to make fun of me and they are going to, to laugh because I, I sound horrible, I feel nervous, I will mispronounce. But the idea of the activity is that you break those paradigms of the language and you start practicing. And the moment you start practicing without fear, you are going to start enjoying learning. I really admire American people when they are learning Spanish. They want to practice with everybody. Si ven una piedra que habla español, they want to practice with it. Right? And the same thing has to happen with English. Here you have almost 30 people who, who can speak English. So take advantage of this time. Okay. Take advantage of this time. I know we love Spanish, but later on, not for the group. Practice your English, okay? Another testimonial, how did you feel? Edson said that he was nervous. Uh -huh. Who else? 
Jose Fernando was nervous as well. How, how did the other ones feel? Yeah, good, bad, anxious. Uh, I, I am nervous. <laughs> I felt nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Who recorded the audio more than one time? Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, tw like 20, 20 times later, I sent it, teacher. <laughs> it was like, no, eliminate, eliminate, eliminate. <laughs> But it's good. Did you did you like any specific audio that you listen? Escucharon alguno que le gustó y le llamó la atención? Which one? <laughs> almost almost all of them were were interesting. Yes, very nice. Well, so tomorrow in the morning I am going to send you another question and remember the audio has to be based on the question <laughs> you recorded 10 times the audio oh my god <laughs> i i know it's hard but it's a matter of practice you will see tomorrow will be easier for you and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow will be different on the weekend i am not going to send you okay for you to rest okay saturday and sunday will be vacation but on monday i am going to send you a the audio for you to practice, okay? The question for you to send the audio. That will be on Monday. So, oh yes, for sure. You have just arrived from the university. Remember your cameras, people, they have to be on all the time. And remember as well, we have classes tomorrow uh, because we started on Wednesday this week. So we are going to have classes tomorrow and next Friday, okay? This coming Friday, that is the 20th, we have classes and the next one. So you can finish your module on time. Para que podamos terminar el módulo a tiempo, tenemos clase este viernes y el siguiente. Okay? Solo esta semana va a ser distinta y eh, ya las próximas es normal. Okay, Jancy, we have problems with your camera. Yo tenía el mismo problema el día de ayer. Hay que desinstalar y volver a instalar. Zoom. Good evening. But later on, don't worry. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Jancy. Si de repente les da problemas eh, Zoom con la cámara, tienen que desinstalarlo y volver a instalar después de clases para que se les arregle el problema. Ok, Zoom no me paga nada por este comercial. <laughs> Let's continue. Well, today we are going to work a little bit on uh, the student's profile. We are going to practice a little bit of past tense. And we are going to refresh some of the knowledge that we have about the past. But uh, for example, when you talk about yourself yesterday, we created kind of a profile with all the questions that we were using in class. It's like, this is me, this is what I do, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. Do you remember that we were doing that yesterday? Yes. Yes. So that is kind of your background, right? things that are important for me to get to know you, right? What are the important details about your personality that I, as your teacher, need to know? The details that you were sharing yesterday. As I told you yesterday, right, you have to talk about your professional experience. Where did you learn English? How many years? What do you like about the language? What you don't like about the language? What are the things that you enjoy doing? So those are like your hobbies and your interests. And you were also talking about the things that you can't stand, right? And you were practicing this a little bit on the audios as well. Some of you were sending me your audio describing yourself, but I told you that we were going to use it in class. Right now, we are going to share together. We are going to make groups of three and you are going to introduce yourself with the group not reading, not with the notebook, but expressing just your profile in a natural way. I need you to do it in a very natural way. I don't want you to be reading, okay? Dejen el cuadernito allá a un lado, o no lo, no lo lean, but try to give information about you just like that. It's like, hello group, how are you? My name is this and this, I am, 21 years old, I was born in Santa Ana and this and that. So introduce yourself 
important information with these people in the group. The groups are going to be a small for you to interact, okay? I am going to be visiting the different groups just to listen to your performance, okay? So, in brief, ¿qué vamos a hacer en los grupos? Introduce about yourself. Ah, we are going to introduce ourselves, right? What is some important information that you will include? ¿Qué información van a incluir? Personality. Uh -huh, personality. What else? Maybe uh, professional. Interests, hobbies. Interest. Okay, professional um, background. Good. Okay, those um, are the things. And what else? Anything important that you consider about yourself? When were you born? Where were you born? Right? You say like, I was born in Aguachapán, in Sonsonate, in Soyapango, I don't know. And when? In 1998, in 1984, in 2001, I don't know. There are a lot of young people here. So important information about yourself. Try to do it on the spot. Traten de hacerlo de lo más natural posible, sin leerlo, sin estar ahí como, espérame, teacher, lo voy a escribir. No, no, no. Try to do it natural, okay? So, I am going to send you to the groups right now, and I'm going to be visiting the groups to listen to your performance, okay? Let's go. Okay, didn't you receive the invitation? Let me know so I can send it back. Okay, ahorita, ahorita. Okay, well, yes, Angelica, you are in group number two, but I am going to send you the invitation again. Go ahead. Okay. And okay, Elvira, I am going to send you to a group. And Joanna. Cesar Guadalupe, you are not in a group right now. No le llegó la invitación, Cesar, para el grupo. Joanna? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, Elvira, very good. Thank you. Joanna, I am going to move you here then. Thank you, and Cesar. Excellent. Okay, Elvira, I am going to go and check on the different groups and I will come back, okay? And let me go, thank you. Hello, good evening, no sé si me escuchan. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, we can listen to you. <laughs> I was talking and talking. Soy vaya a hablar y no me escuchan. Go ahead, go ahead. No, yeah, yeah, we can listen to you. Go ahead. Okay. Escuchamos. Okay. Uh, good night. My name is uh, Teacher. Uh, good, I'm sorry. Good night, Teacher. Good night, uh, Mr. Daniel. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Good evening, uh, you say. Good, good evening. evening. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good evening. Uh, my name is Edson Hernandez. I have 33 years old. I am. I, I am. am. I am. Yes. 33 years old. And uh, I I I have I have I don't work. Okay. But, but I don't work for the moment. Uh, only uh, sales online. Online sales, uh -huh. Sales sales online, the different items or products. And actually I study English in corporative in support. Okay, English corporative, you say English corporative. You don't change it. Uh-huh. Okay. In this and my favorite hobby is uh, practice English in my in free times uh, and uh, for example uh, apps uh, or platforms in English and watch uh, videos series movies uh, with subtitles uh -huh. and uh, uh, listen to uh, listen to music in English uh, rock or balas <laughs> okay soft soft yeah. rock <laughs> soft rock yeah great and, man. Uh -huh. and i living in san salvador i with live my, in uh -huh. yeah, i live in san salvador with my my wife my son i have a dog its name is joker and <laughs> uh, my favorite food is Poposas <laughs> and lasagna. I I love drinking coffee with bread in the morning, <laughs> afternoon, all yeah. day. <laughs> in the morning, in the afternoon, at noon, yeah. <laughs> in the break. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Coffee yeah. is it's it's the drink, the Salvadorian drink. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, in my case, I think. Uh, Practice English because it's very important, uh, but improve day to day and in the future, uh, how do you say, obtener? I can get. I can get, thank you. I can get opportunity and job. Okay, you can get job. a job opportunity, right? I can get a job opportunity. <laughs> I can get a job opportunity. And I I like um, practice uh, exercise in my, in my in my home and uh, twice a week, twice a week. Okay, good. I like and to. You say, I like to. I like to practice, right? I like to practice. Okay. Exercise twice a week. And that's that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all, right? Exactly <laughs> the way you did it. Excellent. Uh, important things. When you express your ideas in English, try to do it fluently. For example, uh, we tend to think a lot and we say like, eh, mm, Ah, eh, eh, eh. So try to connect your ideas, right? I like to exercise, I like to watch TV, I like to eat pupusas, I like to drink coffee, right? Try to um, attach your ideas so it sounds a little bit more fluent. So, okay. Jose Daniel, I am going to leave you practicing with Edson. I am going to check if the other ones are working. I will come back in a moment. Okay, continue. I will come back in a moment. Um. I work from Monday to Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, sorry. Um, I like, uh, my favorite sport is soccer football. Uh, I like practice uh, the weekend. Mm, 
My favorite food is the Mexican, Mexican food. And my favorite drink is juice, juice of, how do you say, licuados? Milkshakes, milkshakes. Milk. How do you milk. say shakes if it doesn't have milk? Uh, milkshakes, um, <sighs> that's all. <laughs> Okay, when you say my favorite sport, you say my favorite, don't say favorite or favorite. No, you say my favorite sport my favorite. is soccer. 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 Yeah. Because you say soccer, football, it's not possible because football, you use it for the American football, right? And soccer is the one that we play here in Latin America, right? My favorite sport okay. is soccer. Good. Continue. Okay. Continue. Mm, that's us. <laughs> ¿Ya terminaron todas? Yes. Ok, very good job. So, let's go back to the main room then. Ok. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dear students. Okay, so we were talking about the different uh, things that make up our background. And I was listening to something curious uh, in the different groups that I visited. When you say, I like dance, I like cook, I like visit, right? You say, I like to. After like, you always use to. After want, you always use to. After love, you use to. I love to cook, you say. I like to dance. I love to visit. Okay. Teacher, yes. I have a question. I'm sorry. Yep. Eh, lo voy a decir en español. <laughs> Perdón. Con, en el caso, fíjese que cuando estábamos con, con usted en la, en, la, en la sesión, sí, bueno, sí, no se escuchaba usted y todo, pero ahí con el compañero Daniel tuve inconvenientes porque él tiene problemas con el micrófono. Entonces, oh, okay. entonces lo que yo hice es como nuevamente volver a repetir lo que había dicho porque él sí me lograba escuchar. ¿verdad? Ok, Más. good, good. Yeah, it's ¿Eh? true. He has problems with the microphone. It's true. He sent me a message in the chat. So... We hope that you can that you can fix it. If not, uh, Jose, I need you to after the class. I need you to um, I mean, uninstall Zoom and install again. Maybe that's the problem, and that can be fixed. Okay. Tal vez hay que desinstalar Zoom, Jose, y ahí se nos arregla el problema, porque eso es como un, un problemita que tiene común ahorita la actualización. Sí, yo se le decía a Jose, me escuche. <laughs> Yeah, he has he has issues with his microphone. Okay, thank you very much for letting me know, Edson. Okay, sure. in... uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. um, I, uh, I have a question. Yes, Jesus. I'm going to I, I I'm going to tell you in English. Uh, perhaps you. No, it's okay. Can, yeah. uh, you can understand. Yes. Um. Okay. Um. I have a question. Uh. I see you are using a book. Uh, you are showing us a book. Yes. Um, but uh, I don't have any book. Uh, um, 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 I, I question, I, 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 for myself, um, I, I have a question for myself. In, in what book I'm going to work? Okay, good question. On the platform, right now, I am showing you the platform. On the platform, you have this space on top. Aquí tienen esta parte de arriba, donde tienen las categorías y las opciones. Una de estas opciones dice Students Manual Intermediate 1. Here, you click here, and you are going to get the book that I am using. <laughs> yes, nice it's, it's right here. Okay, it's right here, and you can get it, right? You can download it. Maybe I have a different version, but it's the same book. 
right? I have a, a little bit more updated version, but it's the same book, okay? Don't worry. Okay, here you have. El que yo tengo es un poquito más colorido, but don't worry. It's the same okay. book, Thank right? You. The same Thank book. And these are the first five units that you are going to use with me. So if you haven't downloaded, go ahead, enter, click, and download, okay? Me sentí como los youtubers, vean. Vamos aquí, le das click aquí, dámosle descargar aquí. <laughs> it's okay. That is uh, the book that I am showing you, okay? That is the book that I am showing you. My book is a little bit more like colorful, but it's the same. This is, it's the same book. Okay. So getting to know you. It says, tell me about yourself. What is uh, the boy's name, people? What is the boy's name? Ted. Ted. Okay. Where was Ted born? Where was Ted That's born? Dallas. Ted Dallas. He was born Dallas. in Dallas. He was born in Dallas. That is the question that I am looking for. <laughs> Complete answers. Okay. He was born okay. in Dallas. Where did he grow up? He grew up Los Angeles. He grew up, he grew up Los Angeles. Los Angeles. In Los Angeles, he right? He grew up in, in, in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Very good. Angel. What is his level of education? His level of education, education is a college degree. Okay. He has a college yeah. degree. He has a college degree. What is a college degree? Un diploma de... Computer specialist. Computer specialist. Okay, a computer specialist, right? A university diploma, right? A college degree is a university diploma. Uh, and what is his occupation? What is his occupation? His occupation is computer specialist. Mm -hmm. Cuando yo les pregunto de qué trabajan, me dicen, mi ocupación es maestra. Is it true? No, right? No. What is his occupation? He is a computer, computer specialist. specialist. He is a computer specialist. Very good job. What are his interests or hobbies? He, he loves, loves to be a lot. So he loves to be a lot. He loves to be a lot. He loves to be a swimming. And he loves and he is a good cook right in that case remember as you are sharing information in third person you say he loves to be outdoors he enjoys skiing he enjoys swimming and he is a good cook what about the information of the lady right there what information can you tell me about her? What is her name? Her name is Anna. Her name is Anna. Anna, where was Anna born? Anna was born in Anna Buenos Aires. In Buenos Aires. In Buenos Aires. In Buenos Aires, the neighborhood or Buenos Aires, Argentina? I think Buenos Aires, Argentina. Bueno, en la colonia. Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yes. What about uh, the grew up? Where did she where did she grow up? She grew up, she grew up, she grew up, up in, in Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. She grew up in Los Angeles. What is her educational level? She has education is high school diploma. She has a high school diploma. What is the difference? Ted went to the university and Anna hasn't gone to the university. High school. What is her occupation? Her occupation is a college student. Okay. Her occupation is a college student? No, you say she is a, she is a college, yes. student. College, college student. And tell me about her interests. She, she likes, likes to go to go to, go to, go to, go to, go to the movies. Long walks. Tries to take long walks. Walk. She learning. Learning to skate. Okay, and she learning. 
or she is learning? She's, she's learning. Okay, if you say she's she learning, learning, it's like ella aprendiendo. She's right? learning. She is learning, learning to inline skate, ¿ah? patinar. She's learning to inline skate. Do you think that they can be good friends? Ted and Ana, si fuéramos la doctora Corazón, ¿creen que serían un buen match? It's probably. <laughs> Why? Probably. <laughs> what things do they have in common? And uh, uh, they, they live in, in uh, the Los Angeles. They live in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. um, they are <laughs> students. They are students, uh huh. In, it says he loves to be outdoors and she loves to take long walks. Yeah. So that's another match, right? He loves to be outside. A él le gusta estar afuera siempre y a ella le gusta tomar largas caminatas. <laughs> so that can be a good match, right? And they can be good friends. They are not going to get married, but they can be good friends because she is in high school and he is a university student, right? So important things. Tell me what can make you as a group become good friends. ¿Qué tienen en común todos ustedes? I love, we love English. We are students. We, we are students. We love studying English. We want to improve us. Very um, good. We love English. We are students. We love to study. Right? You have a fantastic teacher. <laughs> good. All of you are learning. You love the language. You want to practice. So that make you, I mean, good. Uh, it can make you become very good friends because you have the same purpose in mind. You want to learn English, right? And that makes you good candidates for becoming very good friends. If you had to create an announcement expressing something special on you, what will you do? Imagínense que tendríamos que poner un anuncio en, en Facebook, en el periódico, donde sea, en TikTok, en las redes sociales, mostrando algo especial que usted tiene, algo que lo hace super unique. On what fire. would it be? Uh -huh. Imagine that you, that you talk about, I don't know, Sandra Leticia, the best cake chef in El Salvador. It can be, that's an example. But think about what makes you a very unique human being. Don't tell me I love to sleep, okay? Because that's, that's a, a normal profession here. What makes you unique? Uh -huh. Think about it. Ya ven, cuando, cuando están ahí hablando con alguien, es que me encanta, sos súper inteligente, sos bien aquí, sos allá, que no sé qué. We love to see beautiful things in other people. But I need you to see good things in yourself. What makes you unique? I will give you that homework. Okay? No me lo digan ahora. Tomorrow, at the beginning of the class. What makes you unique everybody has something right everybody has something so think about it for tomorrow let's practice the following conversation and it says what are they doing here what are they doing on the picture they, they are they skate, have uh, skateboard okay uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. we have it here Skate, inline skate. Inline, inline skate. skate, right? What is the meaning of inline skate? Is this type of skates, right? These are inline skates, right? Inline so skate. they are inline skating. Oh, it says 
Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Say, are you from South America? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Originally, I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did, but my family moved here 10 years ago when I was in junior high school. And where did you learn to skate? Here in the park. This is only my third time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure, just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. I'm Anna. Nice to meet you, right? <laughs> here is Ted and here is Anna. <laughs> And here we have them in the conversation. They are learning to inline skate. Okay, it says, for example, uh, new words or new vocabulary on the conversation? Palabras nuevas que no conozcan? By the way. By the way. Okay, it's like when you say like, a propósito. Oh, By the way, you. right? When, when you are talking and you say like, hey, by the way, my name is Natalie, okay? Imagínense que yo había estado hablando y hablando y hablando en toda la clase y ni me había presentado. So you say, hey, by the way, my name is Natalie. Okay, any other one? Any other new word? Grow up. I grew up. Let's see. Where did you grow up? Okay, did you grow up there? For example, I live in San Salvador right now, but I grew up in Santa Ana. When I was an adult, I moved to San Salvador. Okay? Donde creciste? Right? Where did you grow up? Did you all grow up in the same city that you are right now? ¿Todos crecieron en la misma ciudad en la que están ahorita? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. It's my case. No, no. Okay. Jenny, where did you grow up? Well, I grew up in San Martin and I was born in San Martin too. Okay. And where do you live now? I live in San Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I live in San Martin. I was born in San Martin and I grew up in San Martin. Okay. My life is here. <laughs> Your life is here. Now, another case that is. Ale. Y la Ale, Ale, ¿dónde creciste, Ale? <laughs> Ale, where did you, where were you born first? Uh, I am from San, San Salvador City. I live in San Sonate City. Oh, so it was the opposite there. So you grew up in San Salvador, but you live in San Sonate. Ah, uh, yes. Nice, okay. Tell me a person who was born in Santa Ana. Let's see. Yes? No one? Hey. Yes. Okay, yes. Alejandra Beatriz. You were born in Santa Ana. Where yes. specifically? In Santa Ana, Santa In Santa Ana. Ana, Santa Ana. And do you live there? Yes. Okay, so that's the case, right? I was born there and I live there. Anybody who was born in La Unión? San Miguel? No. no. Oh, Sulutan? Chalate? Me, me hey, hi. Reina! <laughs> Reina and Karen! Okay, you were yes. born in Chalatenango? Ah, uh, no. no. Usulután. In Usulután. In Karen? San Salvador. In San Salvador. And where do you live now? ¿Dónde vives ahora? Yeah. In San Salvador. Chalatenango. In Chalatenango, eh? Hey, you see? Chalatenango. En City, Santa Rita. Santa Rita. Ok, ¿es it cold yeah. there? ¿Es cierto que todo el chalate es helado? ¿Y es o no? So, so. Es so, so. Ok, good. And nice. And that's so nice, I mean, because it's fresh most of the time. So, that is the, yeah. that is the use of where did you grow up? Ok, oh my God, what a clear screen I have. Ok, good. And another question. When you say, 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 what do you think it's the meaning? 
So you say, say, are you from South America? It's like when in Spanish, for example, we say, pues sí, bueno. Ajá, uh -huh. decime, seguimos. Hey, say, are you from South America? It is a compliment to say like, pues sí, <laughs> in English, right? Say, are you from South America? We, we use that a lot in Spanish, right? Cuando ya no tenemos nada más que decir, you say, pues sí, bo. <laughs> pues sí, what, right? And we finished talking, you say. Say, are you from South America? And the next one, let me see. When you say, just follow me, seguime. Just follow me. It is the first time and the third time. I don't know who is going to teach who, but they are learning how to ice skate. Okay, my dear students, you are going to be Ted and I am going to be Anna, okay? Let's work and let's practice this conversation. Ready? Ready. Ready. Yes, ready. ready. yes teacher, ready. okay? Ready. Yes, teacher, are you ready? Yes, yes teacher, yes, we are ready. Teacher, teacher. We are ready, okay. One, two, three, Ted, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, oh, I am I'm really, really sorry. sorry. Are you okay? Okay? No, 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 no. Organicemos, organicemos. Ted, one, two, and three. Oh, oh, oh I'm really I sorry. Really sorry. Okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? okay? I'm fine, but I am not very good at this. Neither no, I, I, I am. I am. Yeah. Are you from yeah. South, are you from South, South America? 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 Yes, I am originally. I was born in Argentina. Did, did you grow up, 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 there? There? Oh, up there? Yes, I did, but my family moved here 10 years ago when I was in junior high school. And where did you learn, you learn, you learn, you learn, you learn Here in the park. This is only my third time. Well, 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 well it's, it's my, my first time. Sure, just follow me. By, by the way, way, the way my my name is Ted. Ted. I am Anna. Nice to meet you. Okay, important. When you say neither am I, neither am ne I. Neither am I. Okay. But if you say, imagine neither that I. imagine that you hit a person on the park. Okay. Le acaban de dar a alguien en el parque ahí. Así, plan. Okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Right. You have to feel like. Hey, right? What's going on, right? I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. But I am not very good at this, right? I am fine, but I am not very good at this. Neither am I. It's like, no, ni yo tampoco. Say, are you from South America? Yes, I am originally. I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. But my family moved here 10 years ago when I was in junior high school. And where did you learn to skate? Here in the park. This is only my third time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure, just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. And I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Good. All the boys are Ted. And all the girls are Anna. Okay? Todos los chicos son Ted. Todas las chicas son Anna. Okay, go ahead. Ted, go ahead. One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh I'm oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Are okay. you okay? okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. not very good at this. Very good at this. Neither, am Neither am I. I am. I am. Say, yes. are you from South America? South America? Yes, yes, I am. I am original. I was born in Argentina. Argentina. Did you grow up there? Did you grow up there? Yes, 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 I, I did. did. I did. Like my, my family, family moved here 10 years, years ago, ago when I was when in high school. high school. Yeah, um, where, where, do did learn learn to learn? where did you learn? Where did you learn to skate? Here in the park. Here in the park. This is only my first time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure, sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. By the way, my name is Ted. Yeah. I'm Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice 
nice to meet you. Very good job. Very good job, my dear students. A little bit on, yeah, yeah, organization, right? We need to organize a little bit on, on some participations, but that was excellent. That was very, very, very good. Okay. Green cookie with chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I am going to give you, I am going to give you a cookie for your good job. Okay, le voy a dar una galleta por su buen trabajo. Let's see. There you go. Galletas para todos. Here you go. Okay, good. So, in this case, in this conversation, we have different forms of past tense. For example, here, when you say, um, did you grow up there? Right? This is a sentence in past in uh, the simple form, right? Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. This is another form of past tense. And you say, but my family moved here 10 years ago when I was in junior high school, right? This is past tense as well. Where did you learn to skate? This is another form of past. And it says like, this is my only third time. Sure, just follow me. Okay, so these examples of sentences in past give you the idea of the topic that we are going to study, right? We are going to study and review a little bit of the past tense forms, right? Here we have a couple of questions using the past tense. For example, the first one is, where were you born? Donde naciste, right? Where you born in Buenos Aires? right? In this case, when you use the form of where, we use the form of the verb to be in past tense, right? It says like, where were you born? Were you born in Buenos Aires, right? And in this one, we have simple past forms. When did you move to Los Angeles? In this case, you have the auxiliary and you have the verb. In this case, this is the verb, okay? En esta forma, El verbo era único, que era el verbo to be, in past. Y en esta tenemos el verbo auxiliar, ok, tenemos el auxiliar y el verbo normal. When did you move to Los Angeles? I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English, right? In this case, you have the auxiliary didn't in negative and the normal form of the verb, right? Cuando ocupamos didn't, ya sean negativos o preguntas, el verbo es normal de nuevo. Did you take English classes in Argentina? Yes, I did. I took classes for a year. No, I didn't. My aunt taught me at home. Okay, this is kind of a little review of the past tense forms. But bringing this a little bit into a conversation, how would you use it? It says, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where, what will you use here? ¿Qué nos faltaría usar aquí? Where, where did, where, did you, where did you? Where did you? Where did you? Here we have the example. Where? Where were you born? Okay. Where, no podemos where. decir where, where did you born because it's not the ah. form of the question. So we say okay. where were you born? Donde naciste? Where, where I, born? I was. I was. I was born born in Korea. In Korea. Oh, you yeah. grow up there. Si aquí ya tenemos otro verbo, sabemos que nos hace falta el auxiliar. ¿Cuál es did, el auxiliar? Did, exactly. Did. 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 Say, did, did you grow up, up here? There. Ah, did there. You Sorry. Up. No, I you up there. didn't. No, no I didn't. Right. Yeah. That is the negative yeah. form. Right. No, I. I grew up. No, I didn't. I. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up. I grew up. Because I grew up. that is grew the past I grew up I grew in Canada. Okay. In Canada. Where? Aquí tenemos where, el where, verbo. Si tenemos where, el verbo aquí. Where did you go? Where did you go to high school? Remember that you use was and where when it's the only verb. If you have another verb, you need an auxiliary. I to high school in Ecuador. Went. I went. Very good. I went to high school. In Ecuador, and when you graduate, when did you? When when did you? When graduate? did you graduate? Very good. I last year. When did I you graduate? graduate? 
I graduated. I graduated. Graduated. I graduated last year, right? I graduated last last year. Now I work as a salesperson. You have a favorite teacher? Did you have? Did you have? You have? Very good. You have. Did you have a favorite teacher when you was was a child? You was child. ¿Cuál ocupamos con you? It when were. you were exactly you were. when you were, were. a child. Were. Yes, I. I was. The first was. question. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. No. Yes, I was. Cada vez que ocupamos, cada vez que decimos yes, I were, se muere un diccionario. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. I had. I had. Si decimos I was an excellent teacher, no, it's you, right? I had an excellent teacher named Mrs. Mr. Woods. What? Did, well, did, did he, he, he teach? teach? He, what is the past tense of teach? He was. He, loved, oh. Oh. <laughs> he was English. No, he, he taught English, English, right? Did you have a favorite teacher when you were a child? Yes, I did. I had an excellent teacher named Mr. Woods. What did he teach? He taught English. Right, he thought English. That is the past tense of this one. So, in this case, we have three different conversations. I am going to start the first one and you answer. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? Continue, my dear students. Here, I was, I was born, born in Korea. Born in Korea. Born in Korea. Did you grow up there? Oh, I no, no, I didn't. I, didn't. I, grew, I grew up, up in, Canada. Canada. in Canada. Okay, now bring the conversation to you, to your real information, okay? Vamos a hacerlo con su información real. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? I was born in El Salvador. I was in Korea. In Usulután. I was born in El Salvador. You can say exactly in Usulután. Okay. Uh, in San Salvador? Or in San Salvador, right? Did you grow up there? No, I didn't. I grew up in San Martín. Okay. Good example. Okay, you say, I was born in El Salvador. Did you grow up there? Yes, I did. I grew up in Santa Ana, right? Or I grew up in San Salvador, right? For you to be very specific. Now, Karen and Stephanie, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? I was born in Salatenango. Did you grow up there? No, I didn't. I grew up up in Chalatenango. Okay, <laughs> okay. See, if you tell me that you were born in Chalatenango, and it says like, did you grow up there? No, I didn't. <laughs> I grew up in Chalatenango. <laughs> okay, no, I can, I can, si cambia, si. Si no solo decís, yes, I did. Y ya tenemos yes, la respuesta. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, I did. No podemos decir yes, yes I, I did. did. <laughs> okay. Joana Yesenia, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? I was born in San Salvador City. Did you grow up there? No, I didn't. I grew up in San Martin City. In San Martin. Very good job. So that's the example. And that's the reason, right? When you say, no, I grew up here and I, I moved to another city and I changed it, right? Reina Elizabeth, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? I was born in Usulutan. And did you grow up there? No, I did. I grew, I grew at Planes de Renderos. I grew, I okay, I grew up in Planes de Renderos. What a beautiful place to grow up. Let's see. Jesus Benitez, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where were you born? Okay, okay I um, I was born in San Vicente, but I grew up in San Salvador. Fantastic job. You answered the question and you gave me the two answers at once. So that's the form of answers that we can give. Let's see. Uh, 
Jose Fernando, where did you go to high school? We have problems with the microphone. Jose Fernando, Jose Fernando. Si no envíen la respuesta al chat, okay? We can read it. Sandra Leticia, where did you go to high school? I went to high school in the San Salvador City. In San Salvador City, good. Let me see, <laughs> okay? Tengo problemas con la señal. Okay, Jose. Jose, I was asking you, where did you go to high school? <clears throat> No, oh, I think it's Teacher, high yeah. school is equivalent, uh, no, equivalent ninth grade. No, high school is bachillerato. Uh, yes, it's bachillerato. And the last question, let me see. I am going to ask the final person of the night. Chan, chan, chan. Let's see. Miguel Angel, did you have a favorite teacher when you were a child? Did you have a favorite teacher when you were a child? Uh -huh. Mr. Miguel. El microphone. It's typing, maybe. <laughs> no, the microphone is trying to turn it on. There you go. This is number two. The, did you have a favorite teacher when you oh. were a child? Okay. And yes, I did. I had. An excellent teacher named Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez. Okay, very good job, right? Mr. Lopez, wherever you are, Miguel reminds you a lot, right? He, he remembers teacher. you. We are you going to call the attendance. Yes. Yeah, me, me corrigió, pero no sé por qué. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Good. <laughs> I did a correction because of this one. You say like, where were you born? And you tell me, I was born in Chalatenango, right? And I'd say like, did you grow up no, there? No, o sea, solo nac nací en Salvador, pero no, no, no viví ahí desde que nací. Okay, so maybe we got confused, right? But the idea is like, if uh -huh. you say uh, that you were born in San Salvador, but you grew up uh -huh. in a different place, that's correct, okay? But uh, I think I got confused. I listened Chalatenango and Chalatenango in the two, two things. So, but that, that was like the reason. Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, creciste ahí o creciste en otro lugar, y ya tú me dices, no, yo crecí en otro lado, ahí sí ya, ya cambiamos la información. Pero si la información es la misma del lugar donde creciste, no tienes que cambiarla. You say like, no, I didn't. I didn't grow up there. And you keep... Ah, porque si sí, me preguntan, ¿dónde naciste? Yo digo, ahí en San Salvador, pero ¿y creciste ahí? No, ahí en Chalatenango. And I grew up in Chalatenango, and I live in Chalatenango. Ok, well, before... Por eso, me, por eso yeah. me confundí cuando me corrigió. It's ok, don't worry, but it's ok that you ask me the question. Yes, Jesús? Teacher, um, um, I want to... To confirm, uh, then tomorrow the class at the 9 p.m. Yeah, the, tomorrow we no. have a, we have normal class tomorrow because we started uh, on a different day. Eso es importante. Okay. Por ejemplo, en este caso, como las clases iniciaron el día miércoles, tenemos que, para que ustedes salgan cabal con las fechas que se le habían brindado para terminar febrero 9, tenemos que cubrir dos días, que sería este viernes, que sería mañana viernes 20 y el siguiente viernes que es 27. O sea, de las cuatro semanas, dos semanas vamos a hacerlo hasta viernes y las otras dos solo de lunes a jueves. ¿Okay? Tendríamos que tener terminada la sección 1 para esta semana, entonces. Ya, yeah, tenemos que terminarla. Mañana vamos a trabajar plataforma, así que si se meten a trabajar los ejercicios, mañana vamos a confirmar al menos la sección número 1 para que ya vean ahí los ejercicios que han terminado. I am going to call the attendance. Okay. If you listen to your name, you can leave. Okay? Yes, Jesus. Hello, teacher. Okay. We are waiting for tomorrow the the audio. Oh uh, yeah, no. we're. I am going to send it to you <laughs> early in the morning. Alejandra Beatriz. Here, teacher. Okay, Alejandra. Feliz noche. You can go. Angelica Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Cecilia de Los Angeles. 
I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Cesar Guadalupe. Here, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Uh, Edgar Abel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Edson good Stanley. Good Present, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Jose. Eduardo Jose. Eh, Elvira Lorenzana. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. Ever Ernesto. Thank you. Ever. Eh, Elizabeth. Isabel. Uh, present teacher. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Jenny Elizabeth. Here teacher. Jeremias Ezequiel. Thank you. Joana Yesenia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful Bye. night. Jose Daniel. Thank you. I read the chat, Jose Daniel. Thank you. Try to, to fix your Zoom account. Jose Fernando. Present. Thank you. Have a wonderful night. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine Alejandra. Present teacher. Miguel Angel. Present. Nidia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Raúl de Jesús. Present teacher. Reina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Samuel Isaac. Present teacher. Thank you, Ever. Thank you very much. I read your message. Let me see. And Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. And Jancy Astrid. I am here, teacher. Very good job. Well, my dear students, thank you ever. I already read your message. And Eduardo, let's see, Eduardo Jose Melgar. We don't have it here. And I answered the attendance, but I think you couldn't hear me ever. No, ya lo tengo marcado, don't worry. Okay, so my dear students, I am going to see you tomorrow. Yes, I have a question, you say. Yes, whatever question you have, ask me, okay? For the ones who are done and for the ones that I already called the attendance, I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Yes, Ever, see what you is tomorrow, your question? Teacher. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Good night. Have a beautiful night, Ever. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher, good night. Have a beautiful night. What is your question, Ever? Will I... We'll listen one in the platform. No, 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 no. The platform doesn't close. La plataforma no se cierra. Ustedes pueden seguir trabajando y las, las etapas no se cierran. A ver, no se preocupe. Usted puede seguirla trabajando, pero es, es necesario que la tenga completa, al menos para esta semana. ¿Ok? So, I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students. Have a wonderful night. Ever, ¿te contesté la pregunta? Dame like si me escuchas. Yes, thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.